Solar Systems, and today we're going to be demonstrating the SPG 3000 solar power generator from Arc Solar Systems. This is a fully self contained and self sustaining unit that allows us to capture the sun's energy and use it to power our most important electrical devices. So, today we're going to be demonstrating the appliances and electrical devices that can be powered from our Arc Solar Systems generator. So, let's get started. A coffee maker, a blender. a blow dryer, a toaster, a radio variety is what we do best here for you James Taylor, Daughtry all on the way here's Lady Gaga and Alejandro lights A television. Mm -hmm. Oh, so many choices. Take your time at the service center. Okay, giving you choices. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box puts your favorites in one epic box. Two pizzas, five breadsticks, and your choice of wings, Tuscani pasta, or four stuffed pizza rollers for $19.99. Order it online and score free two liter pack. A refrigerator. and even a microwave oven. It also has a USB port so we can plug in and power our personal electronic devices. Okay, so we're going to get started on how to operate the SPG 3000 today. 
And in order to charge it, we're going to first lay out our solar array and then connect it to the quick connectors on the back of the SPG 3000. Now that we have our extension cables plugged in, the other end of this plugs into our solar array. We'll flip it around. And then we'll turn on our power switch and this is going to activate our charging system. Here we have our generator in charging mode. You can see that we have a four panel system, which is 272 watts of solar power coming in right now. And our charging system is on and you can tell that our solar light is on here if we press the display then that will tell us how much power is coming in in terms of watts and amps and what our current voltage is we also have our battery fuel gauge which we ran the battery down to zero so now we're testing the uh, charging system this is the arc solar systems spg 3000 Hi, today is August 16th, 2012, and we're here in beautiful Grand Teton National Park. And over the next several days, we're going to be conducting some tests of the Arc Solar Systems SPG 3000 solar power generator. Now here we have our generator, and these are our four solar panels all rolled up. One of the tests we're going to be conducting today is a test of the REACT system or Renewable Energy Adaptive Interconnecting System. And that is a system of components that plug into our ARC solar system power generator. Now this is the component that we're going to be testing right here. And this is the BRP325 and this is a, uh, a battery power pack that plugs in to our solar power generator to give us more energy reserve and this is uh, one of the components that we're going to be testing on this trip. Now around back here you can see on our battery pack that we have a switch here and this is a safety switch that we can turn on and off and this is going to cut the power to our uh, retractable battery cables. Now these cables come out and uh, and then, then they just plug in right here to the back of the solar power generator. So we simply remove that plug, the uh, rain and dust cover, and remove this one. And then it just plugs in. And then we have a uh, quick connect here. And what that does is it allows us to read the batteries as one and also to charge the batteries as one on the solar array. So this is our uh, REACT system battery pack right here. And as you can see, we have it hooked up and connected to our ARC solar systems power generator. Now we're going to flip the switch on and that's going to allow us to now read the batteries as one. So uh, this is the first test of the ARC Solar Systems SPG 3000 solar power generator combined with the ARC Solar Systems BRP325 which stands for 325 amp hours of reserve capacity uh, battery power pack. Today is August 19th, 2012 and we're on day four of our test here in Grand Teton National Park and what you see here is the solar collectors that we use for our SPG 3000 solar power generator from Arc Solar System. So we have 272 watts of panels here, four panels at 68 watts each that are hooked up to our connectors and these go inside our tent and are connected to our generator. Now we've had um, several things operating for the past four days. We've had a coffee maker running every morning, lights every night, a Bose radio system, a computer, a DVD player. We've been watching probably two to three to four hours of movies per night. And um, 
our uh, lights and uh, we've had no issues at all. We've even ran the heater. We have a little small 1500 watt heater that we've had uh, that we turned on you know, for a short time just to heat up the inside of the tent when it gets really cold. So great news, it's been running perfectly. Now here we are inside the tent and you can see the SPG 3000 um, running in operation here and you can see that we're reading right now approximately 12.7 volts. There's our battery fuel gauge indicating that it is uh, nearly full and um, this is the solar regulator showing that we have power coming in from the solar array draped across the top of the tent that we just showed you and uh, next to us here we have the ARC Solar Systems REACT System BRP325 battery reserve power. So this is our secondary battery pack that is hooked up and interconnected with our solar generator here. So we have our battery reserve pack here and our solar generator here. They are connected through um, a quick connect cable in the rear so that we have actually three batteries acting as one. One inside the main generator which is independent. We can turn that off and on, disconnect our component system here and take our reserve um, pack off and just take our generator with us if we need something smaller and more portable. Or if we're running higher power units, um, we're going to want to have our React system battery pack. So um, it's been working perfectly and as you can see it is uh, the light is on on the regulator right now. It is receiving power. This is one of the regulators that we use. Well, there are several. Uh, they all will give us the indication that they are charging, just like this one. And um, you can see it's been working uh, fantastic. Again, we are on uh, day four of our test here in Grand Teton National Park.